guys, this is George back here with another vlog and today we are here at Chessington World of Adventures where we have just had a ride on Dragon's Fury, the Mara spinning coaster that opened in 2004. The same year uh, as Spinball Wizard at Holton Towers and Chessington definitely got the better Mara spinning coaster because that is absolutely fantastic, really, really good. And you can get some great views over towards the construction area for 2023's new area, which I'll talk about a little bit later and get some construction updates. Let's just say uh, there's a lot of progress being made over there. But here we go. We're here at Jungle Bus now, which is testing. Can't, can't currently go on it. Here we go. I'm not too sure what's going on with this because it's been removed from the app. So could that suggest that the ride's going? Who knows? I guess we'll find out. So here we are in Forbidden Kingdom at Croc Drop. This is where Ramesses Revenge used to stand. And of course, last year, Croc Drop opened in its place. And yeah, this is a really good fit for Chessington. It's been really successful here, except for the fact that it doesn't seem to be spinning quite often. So I don't think it's going to be spinning today. And I've never actually ridden this. I was here last year, but it had a massive queue and it kept breaking down last time I was here. So today's going to be the day where I'm actually going to get to ride it. And it's currently advertised as a 15 minute queue. So let's go. So guys, Croc Drop is back spinning again. It has most of its life so far. It's not been spinning, so it's not been the most reliable ride. But it is back spinning again. I didn't know that. So here we go. Let's go for a ride. just did croc drop there and that was quite good it was quite a short cycle however i'd probably take that over magma because of the theming of it i like how you drop in the crocodile's mouth and with magma you get quite a lot of small drops on there but with that one you get three or four big drops which i quite like so that one probably is a bit more thrilling than magma and it's really well themed it's nice and smooth and the restraints are probably a bit more comfortable as well they're not as bulky except they do dig into your thighs a bit so that's not too great but they're not the most most comfortable restraints on those uh, SPFVs or drop towers. We're heading over to Tiger Rock now, one of the most impressive log flumes that I've seen. Except the tiger's looking very dirty there. Might need a bit of a clean up that. Hopefully while we're walking over, we'll see some tigers. Currently advertised on the 20 minute queue. We're getting more success here in the first hour of the day than we did in uh, the whole day last time. Last time we came here we didn't get on very many rides. The queues were massive but we've got some today that are currently on big queues and some that are on some smaller queues so hopefully we're actually gonna get on some rides today. Hopefully we'll get on Vampire today as well even though it's not one of my favourite coasters. I haven't ridden it since 2018 so I would like to get back on that today. So in 2023, Chessington are going to be opening a brand new themed area called the World of Jumanji. And we're about to get a construction update here because supports are on site for this brand new roller coaster. If you can see through there, you should be able to just about see through there. Maybe if I come a bit further back, supports for the brand new B&M roller coaster are on site. This is very, very exciting. So much is going on. We'll get a bit more of a better view of the Jaguar over there as well in a minute. So, basically, what we know about this area so far, there's going to be three rides in this area. The standouts being a B&M shuttle wing coaster that's going to feature a launch. It's going to feature an inversion. And of course, it is a shuttle coaster, which we've never seen B&M do before. This is B&M's first shuttle coaster. This is very unique, not just for Chessington, but for the world. We've never seen a shuttle wing coaster. And also, we haven't seen B&M even attempt many launches either. There are currently three B&M coasters uh, that feature a launch so there's not very many b and aren't known for their launches but here's the construction wall for it as you can see world of jumanji is about to get real coming spring 2023 and that jaguar over there 
is going to it's a it's a 55 foot tall jaguar structure that the coaster is going to spiral around it'll then stop going up to the, through that spiral and then it'll roll back and go through the rest of the course backwards this is really exciting this is the first time we've seen chessington put an inversion on one of their roller coasters this is going to be absolutely massive for the park and i'm so excited to see it hopefully we'll get a bit of a better view of the jaguar from back here here we go as you can see over there there is the 55 foot tall Dragua Shrine that the coaster is going to spiral around. It's going to be very impressive. It's going to be an incredible area. So as you can see over there, that red structure over there is going to be the station for the brand new wing coaster. It's then going to come around this area. The entrance is going to be somewhere over there, which is where the inversion is going to be. You can see footers for the coaster through this fence as well. So it's going to come around the edge of the area, over to the Jaguar Shrine, spiral around it, and then go back through the course backwards, which is going to be very exciting. The only thing with this coaster is, of course, with it being a shuttle coaster, it can only run the one train. And Chessington is a park that gets big crowds, so... The throughput might not be great on this. It has caused a lot of concern about the throughput and how big the queues are going to get for this. But hopefully something will be resolved to be able to sort that out. With the fact there's a wing coaster as well, wing coasters do have a, a decent capacity. So hopefully that will help with this new coaster. So here we are in Shipwreck Coast, the new area for 2022. And this ride has actually come from Thorpe Park. This used to be the timber tugboat at Thorpe Park. However, it's now been renamed to Trawler Trouble and brought in here to Chessington because uh, where timber tugboat used to be in Old Town is where Thorpe Park want to build Project Exodus, their new roller coaster. So that's why it's been relocated to here. And it looks brilliant. In, when it was in Thorpe Park in Old Town, it didn't fit in at all with the theme it, of a Wild West area. It had those, this water pirate based ride in a Wild West area. It didn't work at all, but here it fits in perfectly. It's beautifully themed, it's got a really nice colour scheme, and it looks so much better than it ever did at Thorpe Park. Look, you look at all the details there on the boat, you've got the name displayed up there and all of these details on these buildings. You've got a nice hint towards one of the old rides here as well, Miss Bubbleworks' wash house. Of course, Bubbleworks used to be uh, where the Gruffalo, where it used to be the Gruffalo and then it got rethemed. So yeah, there's some really nice details and then of course you've got Sea Storm over there, that's been here for a while. However, it's just had quite a big refurbishment. And then there's also another new ride in here as well, the called Barrel Bailout, which we'll go and have a look at later. So then guys, we just went on the Gruffalo River Ride Adventure, a ride that I've only done once, and I did it quite a few years ago. In fact, it was before I even started this channel, so it's a long time ago that I last rode the Gruffalo. And it's a really good ride, actually. It's nicely themed, it's a nice experience. It tells that story. Uh, there's loads of smell pods in there as well. It's a really immersive experience, as long as you don't look at the ceiling. The ceiling's a little bit bare, but uh, other than that, the walls is really well themed. And then, of course, you've got the drop on there as well with all the fountains, which is really nice. We got wetter on that than we did on Tiger Rock earlier, which was quite funny. But yeah, it's a really good ride. I don't know why I don't go on it. It, it always gets a massive view, and that's probably why I don't go on it very much, to be honest. But it's a really good ride. I really do enjoy it. It's a great dark ride for this park.
So I just had a ride there on a Vampire for my first time since 2018. And yeah, it's all right. It's quite rough. It's an old coaster, granted, so it is going to be a bit rough. However, I have been on coasters that are a lot older than that, that are smoother. It is definitely less boring than I remembered it to be. I remembered it to be really slow and boring, a bit like Iron Dragon at Cedar Point. It's definitely a lot more intense than I remembered it to be. However, it's still quite forceless. It's not very interesting. It's quite quick and it's quite rough and painful as well. It's not one of my favorite coasters. In fact, it's probably quite low down in my rankings, but it was good to get back on there again after a few years. So here is the other new attraction here at 2022 for, at, for Chessington. It's Barrel Bailout. So this is a Zamperla Water Mania. This was brand new. This wasn't relocated from anywhere. This was brand new for the park. Yeah, it's a really good fit to this area. Of course, it's great for summer, but on days where it's not as hot, it's not so great. But yeah, it's really well themed as well, actually. So yeah, maybe I'll give that a go later if the sun comes out. We're heading over to Tiger Rock now. Uh, for another ride on there possibly or we'll go and have a look at Rattlesnake and maybe give that a go. Attempting to have a ride on Tomb Blaster now. We've just gone walking around the queue and there's about there's so many different ways you can go. It's literally a maze around here. We've just gone round in a massive loop. So I'm going to try and go in a different direction. Is this right? Um, oh. This looks like a fire exit. Is this a fire exit? Um, every way seems to look like a fire exit, so let's put it back to principle. Yeah, that's the wrong way. That's where we walked up the queue line. This is literally a maze. I don't know where to go. And I've lost everyone as well. So, um, oh my god. I guess we go down here then. Oh, yep, here we go. It's where I thought we needed to go in the first place. Okay, right. So hopefully, it's not going to be a big queue. It had a reefer of a couple of years ago, so I'm expecting it to be quite good. To use their scientific name, Camelopardalis. They got their name because it looked like a cross between a camel and a leopard. Put the two together and you get Camelopardalis. Giraffe population has dropped by 40% in the past 30 years due to poaching and habitat loss. The Chesington Conservation Fund supports giraffe conservation by funding scientific five years in the wild and can grow as tall as six metres. That's 18 feet. That's as tall as a house. <laughs> yes. Breeding program to help re-establish the species in North Africa. Oh, that's good news. Look around, adventurers, and you might be able to see some antelope with white blaze on their faces. So then guys, we just had a ride on Tomb Blaster and also Zufari as well. That was my first time on Zufari and then I haven't ridden Tomb Blaster since it had its refurbishment. And yeah, they were both really good rides. Um, unfortunately, Zufari was quite short. I was expecting it to be a lot longer and the cave wasn't working as well, but I knew about that. The cave hasn't been working for a while, but I was expecting it to be a bit longer. And then Tomb Blaster was absolutely fantastic. It's really well themed. Uh, lots of seeing there. It's a good long ride as well. Uh, and it, of course it had a refurb a couple of years ago, so yeah, it's all looking really fresh, I was really impressed with that. So then guys, that is now pretty much the end of this vlog here to Chessington, but before I wrap it up, I am just going to show you the merch. So this is a really nice mug here, as you can see, it's got the old logo on there. Chessington World of Adventures, adventuring like it's 1987, which is when the park opened. As you can see, you've got the yellow inside there. Yeah, it's a nice mug. I've never seen this before, so it was a nice find in the gift shop. And then I also got this resin for Croc Drop. Well, it's a mini resin, this one. Yeah, this is really nice. I like all the details on it. Then there's the back. Oh, just dropped it there. Yeah, that's really nice.
And then I also got this pin badge for Wilderfest. We didn't go for Wilderfest this year, however, I was there last year during Wilderfest, so... Of course, my rule with merchandise is I can't buy it unless I've been on the ride or seen the event. So there we go. I, I do not own a Wilderfest pin badge without uh, of not visiting the event I did go last year. There we go, nice pin badge. So then guys, that is now the end of this vlog here. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at George Kelly. Follow me on Twitter at George Kelly. And check out my other YouTube channel at George Kelly. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe everyone and I will see you all later. Bye.